The Swamp Thing, issue 7, Ram V writing Mike Perkins on the art. Obviously, this has been a highlight, this book, yeah, uh, yeah, since yeah. it started. Uh, Connor was a little bit more critical of the last issue. Um, not that he didn't like it, but he was he was disappointed of uh, this Suicide Squad kind of connected section taking up multiple issues. Um, I, I honestly... don't mind it because it gets into the the how levi ended up yeah i i think especially with this issue i think it's very clear here that this is less yeah. i mean yeah technically they can call it a crossover because it's a suicide squad that are here but this is still very much the swamp thing story that happens yeah. to be have some suicide squad guest stars in it like you right. know and and of course a a multinational company is gonna call amanda waller and go hey get get us in there you know, yeah, those, like, those are, you know. we're having so issues. We ended the last issue with the big cliffhanger uh, of uh, Heatwave being attacked mm -hmm. uh, by Swamp Thing from behind. Uh, so we get, end up well for Heatwave. Yeah, we get we get the aftermath of that. We also get some wonderful art of uh, Kimo walking through and just like basically just like destroying parts of the forest because he's yeah. his radiation is just killing it, which is yep. delightful in a dark way. Uh, but yeah, so this is something that was in the last issue as well as the flashbacks to his relationship with his brother and his father, uh, the idea that he was there to represent the company Levi. He's there to sort of convince them to because his dad's on like the the board of like the town's the elder council. Yeah, the elder council, yeah. uh, and the the company wants to take the forest, and they're going to say no. Uh, is the ultimate thing, but we right. get these flashbacks and we get the the idea that Levi is connecting to the forest and he's like seeing the entire history. Of, of this place he's seeing you know ancient beings he's seeing um the oil industry the the and in, in, you know the industrial age sort of come in and yeah. things like you, that you said it perfect with with the history of of the region um and as it ends now and and almost you kind of see why it why the green reached out yeah through him and then the suicide squad member whose name i i cannot remember i don't know she I don't know her. But she, she's got like weird telepath uh -huh. powers or whatever because she basically is able to... Nightmare his, nurse. Nightmare nurse, there you go. Yeah. Uh, and that makes sense because, you know, he thinks she yeah. sees Jennifer. Well, yeah. she she feeds off of his trauma and as we've learned, <laughs> Levi, <laughs> Levi uh, has a lot of trauma. Has a lot of trauma, Especially yeah. surrounding this, this area and this, home way. And this leads us into the flashbacks where he's talking to his brother and his father and his father's talking about the roots, you know, feel the roots, they're, you know, they're thousands of years old. And he tells a story about, um, you know, this in, you know story of ancient days where, uh, where's oh, I just want to get the the, the phrasing right it's here. It's local folklore. Yeah, it's local folklore about about this brother who was trying to heal his brother by finding the the cure in the forest, and basically ultimately realized that the cure was to carry the whole forest on his back. Right? It was all about the the, the idea being that there wasn't a quick fix, uh, and. This story's fine on its own. I thought the way this came back up later was wonderful. Like I thought that was like the the the, the punch of the book, where it was yep. like, okay, it all came together in that moment. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, he's like, no, this is progress. The company should come in. It should come in and like, you know, advance science by using the the rich resources in this place. And you know, as far as you just don't get, it. you know, for some someone with all that education and all the fancy, the, the you know, the job titles, you you really an idiot sometimes. Um, and I love how he keeps teasing chemo, like you know when when Nightmare yeah. Nurse is like you know all tied into Swamp Thing and he's still lying down. There's just these panels every so often of chemo walking through a barren forest with just nothing but dead branches. Uh, Around him, yeah, really like he's really a, a force of destruction. It's really really good stuff. Uh, and again, it continues this, and we get sort of the the dark ending to this backstory, which is basically the you know the the, the council voted against. The company but the company basically just paid off the government to put in some laws that would allow it to you know claim it <laughs> and the the council and the townsfolk uh decided to protest it turned violent and his father got shot this is how his father died is a protest yep, which, that came from the company he was representing through a right you know which, chain of events right and and so he has tremendous guilt so i thought this was just his father dying of cancer a heart mm -hmm. issue but when you come to find out it's from you know an act that he's kind of responsible for and then when you tie that into the brother and his memories of 
his brother being so upset, you know, it, it all makes sense now. This was kind of the one that pulled the veil back, the one issue that we we understand why he has he was in the state that he was in at the beginning of the book. You know, he wasn't yeah. sleeping. He was having all these issues. You know, everything makes sense now. Yeah, I you know I think the way it was implied at the start, and maybe they'll still do this, but. We kind of took it as, oh, his brother did something that resulted in becoming Swamp Thing. But yeah. this issue kind of makes me think that it was just the absolute, like, dose of trauma that came from mm-hmm. this entire experience and what his brother said to him right before his father got killed. Right. Is actually and, what and triggered to it. Levi, you know. Right. And, and to Levi, he might not have even a clear picture, right? Because of where mentally he was when all this was going on. And, and now through coming back to the forest. Given that this part of the arc isn't done with this issue, I suspect there's still more to learn next time through flashbacks yeah. that may actually right. further like clarify exactly mm-hmm. how he became the new avatar of the green, how he became what? the new swamp thing. But when you look at like past versions, there's usually a scientific accident. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the way it kind of sounded like with his brother, it was almost making me think of like almost like a cheetah style thing where the brother like mm-hmm. made some sort of pact with the forest that's, and and that's what I thought too. And this this obviously everything we see in these flashbacks does not even imply that at all. It does not even hint towards that. So no. to me, the way it talks about uh, this issue particularly when they were nurses uh, cutting into him, she's talking about how his trauma is what the green connects to, and you know, that's what she's exploiting and she's going to maybe, you know, sever it so that he can't connect to the green anymore. And again, it's teasing chemo. We get that big panel of him like stomping through the forest and it's like, you know, the the panel's looking up from under his foot and all this stuff. But ultimately, when she's doing this, and this to me, I thought was a fantastic payoff to the earlier story that his uh, father told him, Mm -hmm. um, is that sometimes the cure is to carry the mountain. Um, the idea being that he's only ever going to deal with his trauma and deal with his pain if he lives with all of it and learns to deal with it. He, you know, cutting it out and forgetting it and not knowing about it is not the cure. That's not going to be the solution. That's not really getting better. What's actually nope. getting better is is living with all of it. Um, and that's and all of it's important. It, so yeah, and that, that's when you think about the other avatars that we've met through Swamp Thing. It's kind of their. That kind of is what they they all share, right? Like, for the longest time, Swamp Thing wasn't actually Alex Holland, right? It was just his memories and him, you know, not realizing that. And then when it was him and him learning, basically have to deal with being this creature, no longer a man, you know, a Swamp Thing, you know. And and now this is a whole different take on that. I, I, I mean, Ram V is really good at this, you know. Because it is Swamp Thing as we know it, but he's added this layer of the guilt and the trauma and him wearing this like a like a badge, almost. Yeah, he, I mean, he's given this option to like lose all these memories and lose being the Avatar of the Green, and he'll just... like, And they won't even have a reason to like do anything to him, because then he'll just be a guy lying in the forest. And he'll, right. he'll just leave him alone. But he's like, no, I have to keep these memories. Like That's the one right. thing he feels in this moment. So... She leaves him in this cave, and the issue ends. Chemo just vomits radiation into this cave, and we see like him almost melting into just like toxic waste. Mm-hmm. But there's a panel at the bottom of this of of Swamp Thing's hand holding the the hand of his father. You can see like the hospital tag mm-hmm. in the the tube, the IV, and it's it's this kind of symbolic moment of him sort of embracing. His his trauma, embracing his past, and mm-hmm. and what what he's and that the big final page is him just like going like super swamp thing on chemo, uh, head well, to head, and he calls upon the green and his knowledge of the green to focus on plants that are like they they put up a fight against yeah the he, he, yeah he said yeah he says yeah uh, the plants that are known to resist yeah. certain types of toxic uh, uh-huh. elements, uh, and he lists a few of them, which is a really neat yeah. thing. And he really and and, and the, cool. the cool thematic thing at the end of this as well is that when he we do get this full page spread of him attacking chemo at full strength, he he refers to himself uh, and uh, Kazaranga uh, together, mm-hmm. meaning yep. the idea being that he's fighting him with the full force of this forest, this jungle, which 
is the ancient. very which is the very th well yes yeah, ancient but it's the, the thematically though it's the very thing that his father was trying to save so it's super mm -hmm. symbolic and the idea that he can only even fight this battle and win this battle with the full strength of everything that his father was trying to mm -hmm. save there's a lot of right. subtext there's a lot of layers there to that yeah. um yeah. which is kind of beautiful no not kind of it is like it's you know it really informs who levi is now yeah it's, it's, that's his strength right you know so mm -hmm. the, the mountain he's carrying is literally also his strength and that's just you know mm -hmm. it, it, like uh, you know the metaphorical mountain i should say is also literally his strength right. well <laughs> so, that's why i brought it that it's ancient because it's just as ancient like in that story it's the same forest right like the dad brings up this was kazaranga before the british planted more trees and made it a reserve this all the way back this forest has been here before us and hopefully it'll be here after us and you know it's this ancient source, you know, that ties him back to everything that, is, that now becomes his strength. And it's just, it's that family align. It's, it's really good. Yeah, that's just great stuff. Um, it, it, you know, it, yeah, I, I don't feel the Suicide Squad element is impacting it. Like, not at all. Last issue might have arguably been one of the weaker issues of the, the book, but. Only because the standard's been so, so high. It all, it's almost like the issue that we got where Perkins took a break with the, with the bomb in London. Um, and it was almost like that was a break, and this is picking up new issues. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, a new story arc that starts with that one and is going to go till 10. Because I feel like thematically, this is the meat of the story. Not so much like issues one through four were great and i really liked them but that issue what was that issue five so yeah the first three issues and then four was the break right no no five was the break no. okay five was a break so anyway six it felt like not a fresh start because it didn't need to be fresh but it felt like this is where it's going and it felt like i i didn't get connor saying that about the suicide squad like it they were fine it wasn't like it was leaning on them at least I didn't think so. No, I mean, he wasn't, like, super negative on it, but it, it, it was more... He was disappointed that this was going to be multiple issues of them being involved when... Mm -hmm. I, and to be honest, like, yeah, last issue was probably the weakest issue of the, the, the run, mm -hmm. but, like, it still had some good stuff in it, and then this issue, I think, is really paying off a lot of the things that it was able to set up. So, I, I mean, I, I have no real complaints. Well, they, just, they feel like foils for the storytelling that we were able to, through... Through Night Nurse, even her powers, like we didn't realize her on the Suicide Squad. That's the beauty with the Suicide Squad, though, is you can almost put any villain on there. It, I mean, sense. it gives it gives context to some of the flashbacks. Is is her kind of like sort of taking right. them out of them or looking at them at the very you know, least? So. And, and yeah, Peacemaker fits in too, and you get to tie into you know smartly into, into the movie that came out last month, right when that issue came out. So you know you get more eyes on it. it I mean. Yeah, I, I don't get that. It's uh, this book's still real good, even even like you said with the the weaker last issue, which I didn't find was was that weak. I mean, compared to the other ones, maybe. But um, oh, yeah, it was it wasn't weak. It was just weaker compared to yeah you know, the standard that this 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 run has has set up. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I mean, it, I I just hope that there's more than three left. I hope that we do get a second yeah. wave. Of this this run by Ram V and Perkins, I would very much appreciate that. Uh, all right, what are you giving this book? Uh, nine. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll agree with that. I'll go with the nine as well.